Hey! Let's talk about this, shall we? The purpose of the United States Secret Service since its inception, its, its first and primary duty has always been the prevention of counterfeit currency being made of the United, of the United States, of the United States dollar. That's actually true, by the way. You're, you don't just get a uh, knock on your front door from the Secret Service when you make a little a risque joke about, damn, shit, I wouldn't have missed about, uh, Trump, about Trump being assassinated. No, you'll also get it if you uh, have a printing press and uh, a weird amount of counterfeit dollars appearing in your local area. But jokes aside, let's actually talk about, you know, this. Of the uh, attempted Trump assassination. How does this happen? The, 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 the Secret Service has always been known to be one of the most, if not the most, elite top tier, maybe eclipsed by certain military groups. It is the most uh, elite group of federal agents available, and they are all, you know, pretty powerful. Like, 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 like they, are, they are the cream of the crop as far as, like, federal agencies are concerned. So how did this dipshit here even get on top of that building in the first place? Well, I think it ultimately comes to under the same reason why Trump's administration was such a fucking shit show. Trump is, by his very nature, of, of a human being that we have known for years, is a prima donna. He's been a prima donna that because he thinks he's the best, he's fooled himself, tricked himself into thinking he's the best at business, he's the smartest, he's the greatest, and blah, 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 blah. this is the level of ego that that is created from the insecurity generated by never being told, I care about you or I love you by your father, and just kind of just being shoved in boarding schools and ignored for most of your life. Take it as somebody who ha who is kind of 0 for 2 on dads, you know, showing both, you know, telling me they love me and showing it in, in, in a way where I actually believe them, at least in modern day. Well, what is this? Why is this in my pocket? Whatever. All throughout Trump's presidency, he was constantly... Firing people, getting rid of them when they told him no. Trump is, by his nature, as a, you know, New York elite celebrity rich man dude, incapable of taking direction. I mean, there's more successful people than him that are good at taking direction, and that's why they're more successful than him. But, you know, he Trump knows best. You can't tell him wrong, and that's the result. So, functionally... The same thing is going on here. You have to remember that Trump has been on a Secret Service detail since he was made the presumptive do nominee for uh, like for the presidency back in twenty six summer of twenty sixteen. He he he's had this since like July of twenty sixteen. You know, and ultimately, like most strong men, competency is usually uh, sacrificed for uh, complicity. The people that, let's take Russian Hitler, for example. Vladimir Putin here, as seen by this illustriously, I have never had Botox before face, has uh, for years had a plethora of bureaucrats and advisors working in the Kremlin that would take the insane shit that would come out of his mouth, translate it into something, you know, legible to the Duma, the Russian parliament, and then the du and then he and then Putin would get reports back after passing through multiple different hands of telling him exactly what he wanted to hear. For anybody who has seen the movie Ford vs. Ferrari, it is the equivalent of the little red folder being passed through multiple hands before it got to the head honcho. The people that stick around long term are the ones that don't rock the boat and don't tell the glorious leader what they don't want to hear. It is a existence, it is a uh, uh, information bubble that prevents 
powerful leaders from hearing reality. And who do you, and when you are a secret service person, when you are a secret service member, your job is to jump in front of a bullet to save the president's life. And you are supposed to do everything in your power to make sure that the president or former stays alive. Including telling them what that they can't do things. And herein lies the problem. President Donald, do you think, that, who do you think out of all of the Secret Service members that are, was a fairly, you know, elite organization with not a whole ton of members compared to other or, or federal or federal orgs. Which ones do you think he that stick around? Which ones do you think that he fires and does not want present anymore? Which ones do you think that that end up wanting to stay around him and don't? Hey, I can't fucking stand listening to this dude every time I say please don't, please don't post our location on Twitter where like we're in transit. You're going to you're that that's a security risk. I get yelled at and called all manner of insults. I can't deal with this man anymore. The point is, is that everybody competent or the, or isn't or isn't willing to be a yes man is gone. The competent yes men aren't really able to be competent because they're yes men. If Trump is going to do something, they're just going to let him do it. So now we get back to this. How does this happen? Well, when you, for almost a decade, have filtered out the people that are supposed to protect you with people that uh, will do everything that you say, even if what you say uh, is not going to lead to your safety, and people that, and, and those people on average, are not as competent as others, what happens is that you have your security detail, who's supposed to be the best in the world at this. You got the bottom rung of Secret Service agents. And you want to know how I know that? It's because when he was getting shot at and went down and was surrounded by some security official, like the, the Secret Service, he said, stop, wait, wait. Pause them from dragging him to safety put his fist up in the air, and yelled, fight, fight, fight. Under no circumstances, if this was Obama's detail, Biden's details, uh, uh, Clinton's, uh, uh, fucking Carper, not Carper, that's my fucking dipshit senator. Um, the nice president, who's old, who's old as shit and I can't remember his name. Harder, I was one level off. None of their secret service details, except maybe Car Carpers, Carters, he's, they'd probably treat him more gently because he's fragile, would ever stop if them doing something at, while they're on a stage in open view. That wouldn't happen. That happening alone is enough of a of reasoning for me to understand that Donald Trump's security detail is filled with the washed lower rungs of secret service. The reason why the secret service fucked up and didn't do this is because they is all the incompetent people who either like Trump and are yes who either liked Trump and are yes men or aren't good at their jobs and weren't a, and and were and and were they were all that's left of people that were being that were able to guard the president because all the competent people didn't want to fucking deal with him. That is that is orange man's detail. So is it Trump's fault that he got shot? Not ostensibly, but I'm pretty sure that his his propensity for filtering out his inner circle to be to filter it out with to just incompetent yes men is a, is a contributor to this, and it's a big reason as to in, in Project 2025 and all of the things there laid therein, written by actually competent people who do want to make this country worse for their own gains. You know, there's a reason why that if Trump does win, he's a figurehead. They, 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 there's, there's not, he's not going to be picking his own cat. It will be all picked for him.
And this assassination attempt has probably been a wake-up call to him saying, huh, I'm going to just let, I'm going to just do, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to change some things. And him changing his speech from what it originally was going to be. I digress. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. I'm now going to leave you to pre-record it, Evan. Toodaloo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.